Namaste everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So here we will talk about this beautiful Django application which is a CMS dashboard. So how can we create this dashboard? Uh, we can use simple HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap and some material UI for designing this beautiful dashboard. And then for coding the backend we can use Django as a framework right now how this application works let's first discuss about that and later on in this tutorial I will uh, show you the code through which you know this whole application has been coded and how uh, the backend code is making it functional that also we are going to cover so we will first see how to log in into the application and then later on we will also discuss about the various types of operations that can be performed on this dashboard uh, like CRUD operation you know there is file upload that can be performed there is uh, you know you can edit the details you can delete the members uh, on, on the dashboard right so all these operations can be performed and there is a search functionality also through which you can search anything uh, on this application so I am just logging out first and let's come here on login so if suppose it's a new user he can create his account right over here or else if you want to uh, use a shortcut method then you can use this command create super user so I have used this one and I created a super user which has all the rights and permissions now I'm running the application again and let's come back on the application and log in through the user which I created before shooting this video. So these are the login credentials and you know once the user logs into the application he gets redirected to this beautiful page where he gets to see uh, these graphs and you know these users which are registered on the application okay now uh, we can search for something uh, using this search box over here right and it's a real-time search which happens here so it's a it's basically a you know js which we have defined in the back end so as to make the search thing happening Okay, let's say I want to search for a person who uh, is in this Edinburgh's office. So I can just type in over here and these are all the names of those, per all the uh, names, uh, you know, people who works in this office, which is there in Edinburgh. Then I want to check out people who are of age 61. So this is how the search function, the search, uh, you know, functionality of the dashboard works. So this is what makes it more user friendly, right? Let's come on this CRUD app and check what can we do here. So here we can see a button which says add. Let's add the details first. So I'm going to add uh, some random details over here. And let's enter a random date so it's a beautiful calendar which I can see here May and 29 and let's enter the last name here I'm going to enter a random mobile number okay and location is let's say Gaziabad let's submit the details and as you can see the details are visible to us over here on this page right now if I want to edit the details can I do it yes I can do it right okay let us submit a uh, value has an invalid date format okay uh, okay I haven't selected the date let's select it again yeah so I was able to edit the details and then if I want to delete something from this page can I do it let's check it out so yes I am able to perform the create operation, I am able to perform the read operation, I am able to perform the update operation as well as I am able to perform the 
delete operation also so the crud is working perfectly fine let's come on file upload and see if we can upload a file here on this dashboard so let's see if we can do it so i would like to upload uh, this presentation file and let's uh, okay we have to give a description here so it's a powerpoint presentation let's upload it okay so i uploaded the file successfully i would like to see whether it is there in the admin dashboard or not so let's just access the admin dashboard i hope you guys know the command or uh, you know you know you know the url through which we can do it so it is localhost 8000 right and then you have to simply type uh, admin after a slash so here un under csv uploads uh, i can see some upload uploads and uh, where is mine let me just check it out i am not able to see mine maybe it's under documents yeah so the file is there right so i successfully uploaded the file if i want to delete it so yeah i deleted the file so you know here as you can see the file name has been captured the created date has been captured and the description which i've provided here so it's just amazing you know, this one is also working fine so you can use it for your college project and if you are a django developer then this is one of the applications uh, you can use for creating you know amazing dashboards so here let's perform some ajax operations so i would like to enter a text here let's say sample details and sample at the rate gmail.com and here okay earlier the submit button was not visible to us right when we came to this page okay the submit button was there i thought it's not there sample page sample at the rate gmail.com and here i would like to enter a search tag okay and nine 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 okay let us submit the details so i submitted the details uh, successfully and here i can see all the details which i just filled in in this form okay so i can edit the details also if i want can i do it uh, i think this uh, is not working maybe i'll have to check the code once again no problem let's try and delete it yeah i'm able to delete the uh, you know details fine so this is also working nicely and let's come on user list so here we can see a user list can it can we delete it okay so let's just login again so we deleted the details uh, fine so it was the login details you know the in which the login credentials of the super user was there now i deleted the app you know i deleted the details that's the reason i log i got logged out from the application and now i i'll have to create the login again so for that let's fire the command create super user and i'm going to use the same username again and same password as you can see it hasn't given us any error it means that we deleted it successfully and now we have created the username successfully again right let's just log in okay and this time i'm able to log in and i can see you know uh, the in the users uh, i have uh, these details over here so the first name last name these things are not getting reflected only the creation date is getting reflected and the uh, creation time right now if suppose uh, i create another user let's let's do it and see if we can what is going to happen on this page will we will we be able to see another person's detail over here or not so let's go ahead and do it Yeah, so I successfully created another super user for our application and let's log out from the app and I'm going to log in as Anubhav. I successfully logged into the application. Let's come on user list and now there we can see 
two rows. So it means that there are two super users, right? So, you know, that's what you get to see here in this section. Let's come on other and see what's, what can we do here? So we have an option of searching. Let's search for this term. Okay. So I think this is, is it working or is it only for this? column let's check it out so if i just put it here no it's not working maybe i'll have to check the code okay it's working yeah it is working so if i type manager here i'm able to search for uh, you know i'm able to get the re relevant result let us download the sample csv and I'm going to just delete the one which I downloaded earlier. So let me just do it one more time. So here I downloaded the CSV and I'm not going to open it as Excel. Rather, I would like to open it as a notepad in a notepad file. Right. So we have all the details that you can see over here on this page. Right now let's change some of the details. So here I would like to put my name, Gaurav, Gaurav's data. Uh, let us change the details over here to Anubhav's data. Then let us change the data here to Okay, I changed uh, details of three rows let's close the notepad and let us upload it on the application so this is a file let us submit it and successfully uploaded the csv file and let's see whether this uh, you know details over here got updated or not so for that i'll have to type in my name and see yeah so i can see my name over here right so the details got updated successfully Right, so this is how uh, you know you can upload uh, a file, a CSV file over here, and then you can you know whatever data is there in the CSV file will automatically come on the dashboard, which you can uh, apply search on. Right, there is a filter, there is pagination also that we have done for on this application. So if you want to see five records at a time on the page, you can simply use this. Uh, you know you can select five. In the drop down, if you want to see 10 records at a time, just select 10. And this is how you can arrange in descending or ascending order, right? I hope you guys know about it. Fine. So th this is how the whole application works. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. Let me just show you the code now. What all things do we have over here in the coding part? So uh, these are the templates, right? And these are uh, the static files. Then we have some screenshots. Uh, the, this my site folder contains the main uh, settings of the project, right? So this is a main project folder, okay, which contains the uh, path to the static files. It contains the path to the media files, right? And then we have the URLs file so uh, this is how this is what is helping the user to log in and that's the function which will get executed when the user will log out from the application this is for resetting the password fine and then there is an app named uh, i think media not media sorry it's crud right So let's come here on CRUD and here you can see there are number of URLs that we have defined. Okay. And each of the URL is bind to a, you know, function over here, right? So for creating, we have a different function. Then for logging, for checking the login details and authenticating the user, we have a different function than for updating the details, right? We have a different function for deleting. We have a different function. This is for file uploading, right? This is for Ajax CRUD, which we just saw. 
okay and this is for get ajax then for deleting ajax this is a one i think this is a one which was working fine but uh, updating was not happening right so i'll have to i think check this code again this is for registering the user okay and then we have okay this is for pagination here we are doing the pagination right then uh, this is for deleting the users you know we have a tab over here through which we can delete the users okay so this is the one which uh, does the deletion part which handles the deletion part then for uploading the csv this is the function right so you can use this code in your application so as to make it more intelligent right that's what i'm showing you uh, that's why i'm showing you this code then for changing the password this is a, a code and then for deleting the files this is a one which gets executed by the interpreter right so this is it from my side in this lecture i hope uh, you guys enjoyed uh, with me a lot right and i hope uh, you guys uh, you know will do really good when it will come to coding if you'll keep on taking these lectures from me on my youtube channel share these lectures in your groups so that people who want to become software developers they can also come to know about these technologies uh, currently i'm shooting lectures on django i will be shooting lectures on angular also very soon and let me just show you my youtube channel once and just want to show you what all things you can find on my youtube channel so here if you type god of kumar gen right on the top you will see uh, my youtube channel right so this is my youtube channel you have to come here and then you know i have power bi lectures i have lectures on kvmd i have lectures on full stack development then there are django projects there are computer vision projects there are game development projects so please share these lectures in your group so that more and more people can come and join my channel thank you very much for being there with me in this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead guys